Believe it or not, this is the future of the meat industry. In just an hour, this printer by Redefine Meat can build you about six and a half kilos or 13 pounds of fake meat. The idea is to replace a cow. So each of our machines produce in a day exactly like a cow, up to 250 kilos in a single day. And not just faux ground beef, as with other alternative meat products. As far as we know, there is an amazing industry of alternative meat that is focused on mince meat. And actually, the meat industry is driven by the whole muscle cuts. Our technology can create whole muscle cuts, just as a cow can produce that, in a much more efficient way, with a lower cost, and of course, it's much better for the environment. So we are introducing a new category. We can do the entire cow, not only one part of the cow that is actually side stream. Steaks, roast, slow cooking, grilling, everything that an animal can do, we want to do the same or even better. And best of all, it's part of a push to save the planet. This is the biggest problem we face today as humanity, and this is the best way to fight climate change, to deliver healthier solution and food to the entire population of the planet. Now moving out of the lab and into the kitchen, many restaurants and hungry restaurant goers are already showing interest. I think uh, 3D printed meat is a really great idea. As uh, soon as it will be, as soon as the taste will be as good as the regular meat, I will definitely move, try it. Using the 3D printer for making uh, food helps to um, protect the environment, protect the animals, protect by killing innocent, uh, innocent animals. That's good. I'm looking forward to try this. So how do they do it? Food engineer Alexei Tomzov lays it out. We analyze the different components that uh, make those beautiful cuts and try to figure out which are the key components that we need to mimic in order to achieve those beautiful cuts of meat. We identified three main components, the muscle, the blood, and the fat. These are the components that we need to mimic in order to reach the perfect, beautiful steak. And using a soybean-based formula, the final product not only looks the part, but supposedly cooks and tastes like the real thing too. At the end of the day, technology is important, but what's more interesting is to have a really delicious and tasty food product that you can cut through and have a bite and be excited.